Okay, so last time our example is an open tank. This time, close tank tayo. So close horizontal cylindrical tank 1.5 meters in diameter and 4 meters long is completely filled with gasoline. So given dito the specific gravity of gasoline is 0 0.82. And accelerated horizontally at 3 meters per uh, second squared. So required, find the total force acting at the rear wall of the tank. So can you imagine if this uh, closed tank will move to the right, uh, more likely if it is completely filled with gasoline, uh, the gasoline will be compressed at the back, or the back portion of this uh, tank. So uh, we are required to compete for the force. Uh, so let's say if it is compressed by the liquid, or if the liquids are compressed, that will have an equivalent force acting on the rear wall. Let's say F sub, or F sub R. So if you have to recall from your fluid mechanics, so can you recall how to compete for the force exerted by liquids on submerged uh, surfaces? That is, uh, the force is equal to the unit weight of the liquid or the fluid. We have H bar or bar H times the uh, area. So you have the definition of H bar, that is the distance from zero pressure, okay, zero pressure to the center of gravity of the submerged surface. So we need to determine this value. So we can have the area, the area of this uh, circular section, since circular yung ating tank. Obviously, madali lang ilocate yung kanyang center of gravity. A uh, center of gravity will be on the center of that uh, section, on the cover, let's say on the rear, uh, rear wall. So how do we express that there is an increase of pressure at the rear wall? So bakit mayroong increase ng pressure dito sa likod? Because, yun nga, if, it, if this tank will be accelerated to the right, for example, makakompress yung liquid, tataas yung pressure dito sa likod. So for the cases, okay, for the cases class of closed tank, I supposedly, if this is an open tank, kung open tank lang sana siya, aangat yung liquid. But that will not happen. Okay? So supposedly, if this is an open tank, there will be a rise of a liquid. So since it is not uh, possible, we are just to place an imaginary rise of liquid to represent the increase of pressure. So take note, this is just an imaginary liquid. So imaginary rise of liquid that represents the increase of pressure because of the movement of the attack. So that is that would be, let's say the rise on, on the rear wall will be, let's say in terms of a y. Can we, how do we compute for that value of y? So let's say, since this is the inclination of the liquid surface, Okay, so this is theta, the inclination, the angle of inclination. How to compute for the angle of inclination of liquid surface of moving uh, vessel or containers? That is, the tangent of theta is equal to the acceleration divided by the acceleration due to gravity. Okay? So, for this triangle, that is tangent of theta, the opposite side is y that is divided by what is our adjacent side this time the adjacent side is the length of the closed tank that is we have 4 uh, meters so we solve the values this is the given acceleration is 3 meters per second squared so that is 3 divided by 9.81 meters per second squared is not equal to the value of y this is divided by uh, 4 so computing for the value of y It is uh, 4 times 3 divided by 9.81. So we'll be having a value of uh, 1.223 meters. So that will be the rise of liquid at the back of the closed tank. But again, that is only imaginary, imaginary rise of liquid. So our purpose lang that is to express or to represent the increase in pressure at the or on the area wall. Okay, so we have the value of y. So again, let's, okay, how do we locate the zero pressure? Zero pressure will be uh, the surface since there are no pressure on the 
uh, in this uh, tank, we assume that the location of the zero pressure is on the surface, okay? the surface of the imaginary liquid. Okay, the pressure is equal to zero. So this will be the location of the zero pressure. Okay, so this will be the location of the zero pressure. So our uh, basic definition, bar is zero pressure to the center of gravity. So this will be the distance uh, I say h bar or bar h. Okay, by that definition, we have uh, the bar h is equal to the computed value of y plus. So obviously, the center of gravity will be just half of the diameter, 1.5 divided by 2. So you have the bar h is equal to computed value of y is 1.223 meters plus a 1.5 this is divided by a 2 so you have the value of h bar is equal to is its specific gravity multiplied by the unit weight of water. Okay? So we have the force is now equal to gamma, what will be the unit weight of the gasoline? The unit weight of the gasoline will be 0 0.82. Unit weight of water is 9.81. Computed bar H is 1.973. Uh, and we have the area of the wall so, uh, in terms of the diameter. 1.5 squared by diameter, this is divided by 4. So let us compute for the force acting on the uh, rear wall. So it will be equal to 28.047 kilonewtons. If you are doing the unit analysis, that will be So I'm using 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meter. So, siguro yung tanong nyo dito is bakit naglalayo tayo dito? Uh, hindi mangyayari yung actual rise of liquid, pero for the convenience of the, convenient of the analysis, and we are just to place imaginary liquid on the surface of, uh, on the top of the tank, if we have closed tanks. Okay, so that is our example for closed tank. Okay, so how to check if the completed force on the rear wall is correct? Okay, we may uh, check that using uh, the second law motion by Newton. So if we are able to compute the force acting on the rear wall at the given acceleration so let's say this is the force on the rear wall so we need to, for example what if it is required to compute for the force acting on the uh, front wall so let's say this is okay, the, acting, uh, the force on the front wall or to compute for the force on the front wall so basically, this is the location of the zero pressure for the front wall. Okay, based again from your fluid mechanics, the force on the force you go do, we have gamma h bar times the area. What will be the equivalent h bar for the front wall? So the location of the zero pressure is just on the top of the top. So the h bar will be simply okay, the diameter is okay, the diameter is 1.5. All we have to do is locate the center of gravity from the top of the top. So this is the, uh, the corresponding h bar for the front wall. That is the same as 1.5 divided by 2. So h bar for front wall is equal to 0 0.75 meters. So we are computing for 
The force on the front wall is equal to gamma. So again, for gamma, specific gravity of gasoline is equal to 0.82 times 9.81. Computed H bar for the front wall is equal to 0.75. Area of the wall, the same. We have pi divided by 1.5 squared. This is divided by uh, 4. So what will be the force on the front wall? So the computed force of the front will be equal to 10.661 kilo newtons. So how to check for if these forces are uh, correct for the front wall and uh, the rear wall? Okay. So to check if these forces are correct, we may use. Uh, we need to determine the net force or this from again from the second law of motion by Newton. The rest will be the force on the rear wall less the force on the front wall will be equal to mass times the acceleration of the liquid. So mass and acceleration. So okay, so when we are able to compute for the force on the rear wall, this will be 28.047 kilonewtons. We have the force on the front wall is equal to 20, uh, 10 point. I said this is 10.661 kilonewtons. So we need the mass of the gasoline inside the tank. So how to compute for the mass? So we, uh, we, again, recall from your fluid mechanics. So we need a lot of uh, recalling from or review on our fluid mechanics. So we have that is density is equal to mass divided by the volume. So if you are computing for the mass, okay, mass is equal to density multiplied by the volume. So also, if we are to determine the density of any object, we are to use the specific gravity. Specific gravity is density of any object divided by the density of water. So we have the density of that object will be equal to specific gravity multiplied by the density of Water. Alright, so let's compute for the mass of that gasoline. The mass is specific gravity 0 0.82. Then, okay, what is the density of water? So, mass equal to density times volume. So, density of the gasoline is specific gravity of gasoline times density of water. Density of water is 1000 kilograms per, cu per cubic meter. Then multiplied by the volume, what is the volume of the gasoline? The volume of the gasoline is its diameter or the diameter of the tank, 1.5 squared pi divided by 4. That is the cross sectional area multiplied by the length. That is multiplied by 4 meters. So what will be the mass of this gasoline? It's 0.82 times 1000 multiplied by 1.5 squared sheet by over 4 then multiplied by 4 okay, the mass will be equal to so we have a mass of 1845 of pi so then it is 1000 kilograms per cubic meter so 1845 pi kilograms so this is let us just check 0 0.82 times 1000. Okay. So again, we have to use the Newton's second law of motion. So we have the rear, uh, that is, we have to use this equation. We have the force on the rear wall is equal to 28.047 less. The force on the front wall, that is equal to, this is 10.661, should be equal to the mass 
This is 1,845 pi. Uh, this is kilograms. Multiplied by the given acceleration for this problem, the given acceleration is we have 3 meters per second. So this is 3 meters per second squared. So if you are to recall, what is kilogram meter per second squared? Okay, so if we are to do unit analysis here, So, 1845 by kilograms multiplied by 3 meters per second squared. Kilogram meter per second squared is uh, simply newtons. But if you have to observe the unit on the left side, the units are kilonewtons. So, newtons to kilonewtons, so we have to divide 1000 on the right side. So, 1000 newtons is to 1 kilonewton. Are we have to multiply? We are just to convert. Are we have to convert 1 kilo newton is to 1,000 newtons. So for the checking, let us determine if the values were correct. 28.047 less 10.661. Okay. The value on the right side is equal to, this is, 17.386. 17.386, this is in terms of kilonewtons. Is it approximately equal to the values on the right side? 1845 pi. This is multiplied by 3. Or divided by 1000. So the value on the right side is equal to, 17. I three eighty nine kilo So they are approximately equal. So you go to the discrepancy due to rounding. Okay, rounding siguro sa mga values na to. But okay, that is one way to correct. So the difference of the two forces on the rear wall and the front wall should be called the mass times acceleration of the degree.